Hey, good morning, everybody. Slitter here, sports live in the ATL Sports Fitness and Motivation Channel. Give a shout out to D-Town, man. For those who don't know what he's doing, you're clearly living under a rock. I know what he's doing. D-Town, shout out to you, man. Uh, hilarious, and I'm glad you're in shape, man. You look good. Keep it up, brother. I know you feel better. I know you feel good. Everybody go subscribe to D-Town. D-Town, comment below, which I'm pretty sure you will. I will pin it, and you guys go check him out. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the like button, thumbs up. Cash app, Slit of Sports. Um, I'm going to do a video on the Braves uh, probably today or tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Trade deadline is Tuesday. If they haven't done anything by... When I get up in the morning, I'm going to do a video in the morning. Because the Braves clearly, right now, playing better right in the last couple games. But clearly they need to address... Uh, starting pitching right now with the Lopez injury, Freed and stuff like that, and they need to get a bat or two. I hear rumblings about talking, so we'll see how that goes. But this video right here is my thoughts on Instagram fitness, all the, the attention that it gets, how these people who work out a lot utilize Instagram and YouTube for fitness. Well, as far as YouTube goes, a lot of good content is on, on uh, YouTube for fitness. A lot of people, you know, lifting weights, getting their body right. A lot of good advice on on exercises, form, supplements, how to do things, mindset on fitness, dedication on fitness, stories about what you look like before to now, motivation, all that kind of stuff. You know, I was watching Jay Cutler TV the last couple of days. No, I don't want to be a bodybuilder. You know, he's a former, what, three or three-time Mr. Olympian, I think. Uh, so if he's going to give some advice, obviously I'm going to listen to it. And I was watching some things yesterday too about some exercises. So I'm going to implement those. Some of them he are, I already do. But I'm going to dibble dabble and learn and you know keep learning some new things from guys who are in shape. I don't really listen to the women, you know, because I'm not trying to uh, turn my boobs into chest and all that stuff. And I'm not all about sticking my butt out in the air with thongs up my crack uh, and everything. But you know, shout out to the women who are getting in shape too. Um, so I mean YouTube is good I use YouTube a lot for fitness I think I think the YouTube how can I say the YouTube media on fitness has kind of gone a little over exaggerated a little bit as far as like overextended what they do you know they'll be tri tripods into the gym post a lot of video on fitness content I do it too but I don't bring a, tri tri bring a tripod I bring a cell phone I don't think there's any problem with documenting what you're doing, but I think the length of it needs to be understood, and I think the courtesy of the people who are around you need to be understood. Too many people get upset about people getting upset about people walking in front of their tripods or on YouTube. Well, first of all, like I said, it's not a movie theater. Okay, if you're gonna do it, at least kind of look around your surround, like I do. I look around my surroundings. I got a cell phone, so I kind I'll kind of angle it, try to angle it in. A position to where only me and the exercises and the body part that I'm doing is showing and if I feel like a person's gonna be in I'll say hey I'm doing a, a video for my YouTube I'm gonna try not to get you in it if they say thank you or that's okay then I just do it but if they if they're uncomfortable about it I don't do it too many too many people do not respect the surroundings so if you if somebody gets on you about being in their uh, video on fitness and all that and walks in front of it and you get upset they they shouldn't give a shit that's your fault you know, if you want, if you want to do all that consistently, uh, create a gym in your house. It's a public gym. As far as Instagram goes, I think they take it a little too, way too far. You know, you got women on there that'll post Instagram pictures focusing on a body part, but generally it's about their ass. Literally, they'll talk about their back. How's my back exercise doing? And all they're doing is bending over with with thongs up their crack bending over and squatting over and really nothing about their back or if they're talking about their arms they don't really show too much about their arms they're emphasizing their back yes they're showing their arm exercise but they're arching their back with their butt sticking out a little too far because it's an ass invitation it, let's be real instagram has become a female ass invitation site it's like how good is my ass how tight is my ass is the thong wedged up in my ass enough it's true I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't mind looking at it, but it, it becomes annoying to a point when that's all that there is. You know, you got legs, you got toes, you got 
abs, you got arms, you got back, you got chest, whatever, delts, triceps, biceps, neck, and you make sure that even though, and trust me, there are some who focus on the exercise. There are some who actually aren't even turned around to show their ass. They're actually facing us, which I respect. But you got a lot of these attention uh, chicks out there who are just all about the ass. Comment below, tell me I'm lying. If I'm lying, then I'll, then I'll admit fault, but I'm not. You can just look around, it's always about the ass. You got the heavy set chicks showing their ass. And if they're not showing their ass, if you see their progression, like say if they're 400 pounds, right? They're covered up and all that. Once you get down to 200, they start slowly edging around, showing you the size and the crack of their ass. They do. It's it's ridiculous. You don't see guys doing that. Well, at least I don't know of any, but that's just ridiculous to me. You know, be proud of your body, but, you know, just come out and say that it's all about your ass. And then if you say something, they get upset. If you look at them, they get upset. But, well, you're sticking your ass in front of me. Now, I told you about this girl the other day that we're doing the, uh, the tricep bicep extensions. You know, you got to lean over a little bit, but she leaned over just a little bit too far. Just to accentuate her ass, make sure that I saw her ass. You know, it's not really distracting to me because I can block it out, but it's it gets annoying. You know, but be proud of yourself. I mean, I post on Instagram some pictures and some fitness machines and exercises, and you know, I I, I wear tight shirts and all that. You know, so there's nothing wrong with you know coming on here and showing the results of your hard work. But I think there comes a point to where you have to. Have a little decor, a little class for yourself, you know. But a lot of women don't. Most women, it's all about their ass. You see how they arch it up, lean over. You know they make. You know when they're home, they make sure that it's wedged up there really good, right? My goodness gracious, man! Even the ones that don't look attractive are starting to wedge their ass. It's like Jesus Christ, man. But I digress. But I think YouTube and Instagram are good forums for fitness and all that. I think YouTube is probably a little bit better because it's, I can take the YouTube a little more serious. Even if they show ass videos or whatever, they're still working out. On the Instagram, it's all about positioning of their butt crack. That, let's be real. So that's all I want to say about that. Like, comment, subscribe, Slitter Sports, Live Fitness and Motivation channel. Hopefully the Braves will be doing something today. Trade deadline. You know, we know what we need. I know Alex is talking to the White Sox. I know he's on the phone, but man, you got to pull some triggers, man. You got to pull it. Let's go. Sports Avenue ATL. Slitter here, and I'll see you in the next one.